Hey YouTube, it's Desiree. How are you guys? Um, today I am going to do a package opening of some ponies and also um, I'm going to show you how I get their manes and tails to behave. Sometimes you get a pony and their hair will be like super jacked up, whatever, and you're like, wow, how do I fix it? What I do is boil water, make sure it's like, ow, too hot to touch. <laughs> I use this stuff. This is called Garnier Fruit Seeks. This is the Sleek and Shine Intensely Smooth Leave-In Conditioner. It's very good. I pour some of that in my water. A couple of sprays of that. And then I also take... It's a 10 Leave-In Miracle Spray Conditioner as well. And um, this one has keratin, which is really good for like split ends on human beings. And actually it can help fix the split ends on your dolls your ponies, whatever, doll wigs. It's not just good for human hair. Um, I put a couple of pumps of that. It comes out as a liquid. I mean, like as a spray liquid, not as a cream like the first one. And then I just do a dunk. Um, it's sort of like a downy dunk, except I think it's better. <laughs> and we got a package today. I ordered some ponies. So... I know that they are used, and I am expecting them to be a little bit worse for wear so and one day I have to do an update video of like every pony that I have so here's the first one she's very cute I totally forgot her name it escapes me I'm not sure but she's got a little teddy bear on her bum her body is that beautiful light blue color I like and her hair is like this hot pink she came with a braided tail and her hair isn't that bad but it's a little dry, so I'm going to show you what I do. So, I don't know how long her tail has been braided for, but I'm assuming a while, because now it is, like, permanently crimped, which actually looks really pretty. But she does need to be cleaned up a little bit, so, yeah. Here we go. We're going to take this. We're going to dip it in. Being that these ponies are like a PVC, you can just dip them totally in. And, um, it doesn't matter if their bodies get wet. So now you see that her tail and her, her, uh, her mane and her tail are fully submerged in the water. I just brush it out and immediately it feels so much smoother. Like, it's amazing. So I'm going to brush out her tail and then I'm going to work on her mane. Her mane wasn't that bad, but it was a little dry, so do that, brush it out, give it a little bit of a curl. I like it when my ponies have curly manes and tails if possible. Sometimes I'll leave them straight, but most of the time I like it when they have a little bit of a bounce or even like a wave to their hair. I just, I hold it like that for a second, I wrap it around my finger, and then you see that? It becomes like a little spiral. And it looks very cool. And she's instantly got soft hair. And what's great is this lasts. Like, I've never had a problem where I have to do this repeatedly or even more than once for it to maintain its, uh, its soft luster. And plus, at the same time, this also cleans their body. I get a lot of my ponies used. And this is a nice alternative to um, spraying them down with Lysol because then they smell like a hospital and that's gross. So... <laughs> Nothing could live in this water. It's boiling hot. <laughs> so that's how I do my ponies when I fix them up a little bit. She's very cute. So she's going to hang out here. I think there's like three in this set. This one I have. I think this is, um, this is cotton candy. No, this isn't cotton candy. I don't know. After a while, they all just start looking like I already have her, but she's very cute. So, and she came in the bid. So it's not like I could say, oh, well, I want this pony and this one and this one. It was all part of a set. And there were two ponies in this set that I wanted. This blue one, and you'll see the last one, who is, like, one of my favorites. So, um, so again, just dip them in. Brush them out. If you could do it from tip to root, that would be better. Because then there's less likelihood of split ends. And if you do it with your own hair, like, let's say, when you're brushing out your hair and styling it, it's always a good idea to do it from end to root rather than root to end. So that's a little tip. 
And some stupid kid put like nail polish or something in her hair. At that, I can probably peel out. Like, why would you do that? Kids are so dumb. <laughs> so, I'm trying to like peel it out. Um, I'm having a little bit of a problem with it. I don't like it because it feels rough. I don't understand why someone would do that. In fact, I think I'll just cut it off. It's a, it's a small piece, so. Okay. I removed it. So, you guys can help me out. Who is this? This is not Counting Candy. I keep calling her that, but I don't think it is. Is this Tiddlywinks? You would think I would know this by now, right? I collect ponies, but <laughs> I always, always get their names wrong. Like, even when I meet people in real life, I suck, and I forget everyone's name. But anyway... <laughs> So now her, her tail and her mane are like super smooth and soft and extra shiny. And these are products that I use in my own hair. My hair is very healthy. <laughs> um, I'm always like trying to maintain my dolls and my toys the way that I maintain myself because, you know, that's a representation of you, right? Things that you like to collect. Now this one I really wanted for a long time and her mane is very dry but I can fix that easily. This is tic-tac-toe, and I know that because this is a pony that I've wanted for years, and she is so stinking cute. Like, her little symbol right here. Ah, so adorable. It's a little tic-tac-toe board, <laughs> and it's X-O-X, -X. so whoever is the X is winning, I think, unless the O comes out of nowhere and puts it to the side. <laughs> But yeah, she's super, super cute, and I love her color scheme. I love how everything is bright. So her body is like this lemon yellow. Her tail and her mane remind me of those rainbow uh, ices that you get in the city. Those little carts. <laughs> she's just so pretty, and I love her. I absolutely love her. She's one of my favorites, so I'm looking forward to fixing her up. You can see that her, her mane and tail were a little dry, but... She is looking good now. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that. It is so cool. I forget where I learned this tip from. Um, I think my friend told me. And I think that it's like common knowledge now if you boil your doll's hair. You could use like dish soap or um, downy to keep it nice and smooth. I just use real hair, hair products and I boil my water in the microwave. I don't even, like, put it on the stove. I just microwave that stuff. It's ready in two minutes. And look how smooth and beautiful her tail is. Can you see that? Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And her mane came out amazing. And she wasn't really dirty to begin with. So she polished up really nicely. So I just wanted to do a quick video for you guys on how I get my ponies to look really good. Because there are a bunch that I have fixed up over the years. And it's a fun hobby for me. And next to dolls, Vintage My Little Pony is definitely one of my favorite toy lines, like, ever. So, um, I usually collect, like, the first two generations specifically. Maybe I'll go for G3 if one of them is really cute or if it's part of a lot. But specifically, I'll get, like, one and two out of the generations that were released. So, these are toys by Hasbro. They started coming out in, like, the early to mid-80s. I forget what year, but... They are very cute, and I love them. And I'm actually partial to the baby ones. Oh, and I just noticed <laughs> she has her first two feet coming in. Can you see that? There it is. Hello, little tooth. <laughs> She's so cute. I have another pony whose tooth is coming in, and I forget which one it is. But, like, I legit have to do a video of every pony that I own because this girl owns a lot of ponies. But this is absolutely one of my favorites immediately because I love her color scheme. And I just think tic-tac-toe is so cute. So thank you guys for checking in, and I know it was kind of a fast video, but I have stuff I'm doing today, so I just wanted to squeeze this in before um, before I'm done for the day, okay? Alright everyone, thanks for checking it out, and as usual, thanks for subscribing, for joining in my crazy toy hobby, and I will check you guys soon. Bye!